or maybe I'll get into that, but I'll get into that tomorrow. Uh, we we got to touch on the Charleston White situation a little bit. My boy Charleston White was, you know, he was kind of perturbed. Apparently, he had a speaking engagement in Houston, and um, the Prince family, Charleston White J. Prince, the Prince family, uh, uh, let me see, let me see this. Go be speaking at event. Okay, so it, the Prince family looked like they weren't cool with it. The police called and told um, the people throwing it, saying, hey, listen, y'all was supposed to have Charleston White to speak here. Apparently, it wasn't a comedy show, so apparently it was just a speaking engagement, but Charleston White um, was pretty much told by the people hosting the event that, yo, the police don't think it's safe if he came there. Um, allegedly, the event was still going on, but Charleston was not going to go. I don't know what it is. I'll play Charleston's own words to hear him explain. Here we go. James Prince, Houston Police Department sound like a bunch of pussies to me. I see why rappers not run that shit. No wonder they mob tied. No wonder everybody got to check in, y'all. Now, I'm checking in with the police department. Police department told me, hey, man, you got a problem with Mr. James Prince. Austin, we, we hear you got a problem with James Prince. Man, we scared of him. I swear to God, y'all, I just got the call from the Houston mayor's office and the gang unit police department in Houston, Texas. They are scared of fire to rap a lot. And this is what I'm telling the Houston police department. Y'all can suck my dick too. Fuck Houston. Nigga, fuck Houston, Texas. Now I'm spending my own goddamn money to come down there to talk to you poor ass, dumb ass motherfucking Houstonians. Nigga, fuck Houston. That go with the mayor, fuck the Houston mayor, fuck Houston police department. Now, I rock with the sheriff's department. I rock with Harris County Sheriff's deputy, but fuck. Okay, so let me give a little more context to it. So apparently, you know, so so the police are just saying they can't guarantee his, you know, um, safety. And by the way, I think a lot of times, even Charleston himself kind of leans on the police to be like, yo, I could do what and go, I could do what I want, go where I want to go. Basically, because the police are the biggest, baddest people in town. Um, unfortunately, we've realized that in certain situations, in certain places, the police either have a decent relationship with the, the people in the community and usually they're managing tension. So they don't want to piss off those people or they kind of have like an unwritten or unspoken type of like head nod to say, yo, listen. We ain't going to go, like, we're not going to war with these motherfuckers, right? And um, it appears that that might be what's going on in, in um, Houston, right? First of all, a couple of things happened when, obviously, when Jay Prince did the interview with Gillian Wallow, we saw Jay Prince show up with, like, police reports that, unredacted, the shit was, like, pointing out other people. Jay Prince was saying this guy is snitching, which, again, the police department, if they're trying to make a case would not want somebody, especially in a active, open case that they're trying to prosecute that's very viral and all over the world. They wouldn't want the person who is supposedly helping them pointed out. Yet, Jay Prince had all the information. So I do believe Jay Prince has some significant power. How? That's beyond me. That's beyond my scope. But it's very important to know that he does, right? Um... If, if if you're wondering where else these things might exist, right? Like where else these things might exist? I mean, that happened in um, uh, we call that place in Detroit with Trick Trick. You know what I mean? Again, let me bring this up. I don't know if you ever seen this before. Detroit Trick Trick. Uh, explains Rick Ross. Rick Ross was so. If you don't know, back in the day, Rick Ross had a concert, right? Rick Ross had a concert, and Rick Ross was gonna perform in uh Detroit. Him and Trick Trick, Trick Trick wanted him to check in or whatever the case is. He basically said he wasn't doing that. Apparently, when Rick Ross showed up to the club, um, Trick Trick locked the gates so he couldn't show up to the club, and essentially just had to leave. Now. You know, there's been like a huge, you know, fucking just myth or or like story in hip hop, but Trick Trick kind of co-signed it on Drink Champs. Here we go. Let me ask you, Trick Trick, because I don't understand what is the no fly zone. What is what does that mean? Because I mean, I've come to Detroit and had marvelous times. We shot the movie together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so, but what? 
you know, they would have a promo team, uh-huh. take the artists, you know, a and take the artists to different locations, and it was like they were just coming to Detroit and wasn't picking up nothing. It right. was like they would charge the local artists to perform. They mm-hmm. would charge the local artists to perform, and the local artists would bring revenue. Wow. You know, artists, they consist of everybody from everywhere. Okay, I, I, I want to get the clip where he's speaking particularly about, let me see, Trick Trick, Rick Ross, uh, Drink Champs. Let me see if I could uh, get that part. He spoke about it there, and I ain't gonna lie, this shit was kind of spooky. Hmm... See if I can get to that, that fucking part. If you guys have a timestamp, let me know. If not, I, I, I'm going to just get back to this J. Prince shit. But I'm only showing this just to show that, yo, uh, apparently, you know, some of these dudes, like, their relationship with the city and the police is more intimate than some random person coming in there. If you, if I got a timestamp, let me know. Timestamp anybody? Let me see everybody on uh, Twitch. He's been that he was doing for kids. So he was doing something charitable and apparently J Prince's presence or influence over the event got the police to basically tell the event don't bring Charleston because yo they can't protect the safety right I, I'm telling y'all as much as this is the first time Charleston has pretty much acknowledged that yo certain places the police ain't gonna go against certain individuals or certain factions in the community for you and this is how he's going off about it here we go fuck Houston Nigga, fuck Houston, Texas. Now, I'm spending my own goddamn money to come down there to talk to you poor-ass, dumb-ass motherfucking Houstonians, nigga. Fuck Houston. That goes with the mayor. Fuck the Houston mayor. Fuck Houston Police Department. Now, I rock with the Sheriff's Department. I rock with Harris County Sheriff's Deputy. But fuck Harris PD. Cock-sucking pigs. Y'all some motherfucking cowards. Man, let me get my goddamn guns and go to the goddamn gun range. This is what I got for Rap A Lot Records. I got a whole bunch of goddamn motherfucking guns for Rap A Lot. Now, I see the police got it. Police scared of Rap A Lot. Police scared of Rap A Lot. Man, I got a whole bunch of goddamn guns for rap a lot of motherfuckers. I got a bad motherfucker right here. I got a whole bunch of goddamn guns. Now, the police, y'all some pussies. Houston Police Department. Y'all some motherfucking pussies, nigga. I see why rap a lot and the rest of these niggas run around this motherfucker. Man, Houston Police. Y'all some pussies. Nigga, rap a lot got y'all scared. A police report to an open murder investigation with people names and statements on there. Hey, Prince, nigga, because I refuse to sit down with you, nigga. You call, y'all call my manager and I told you, nigga, fuck you, nigga. I ain't sitting down with no nigga. Now, all of a sudden, the mayor's office is getting calls. So you mean to tell me you nigga go put kids life in jeopardy? Y'all called in the mayor's office and said, man, well, now we know it's a kid's event. And he speak, we go hurt him at a kid's event. That's why I hate you coward-ass mob niggas. That's why I hate you coward-ass gangsters niggas. That's why I hate you niggas, nigga. You niggas ain't all the power y'all got in Houston, nigga. Y'all could have helped that woman in the organization, but you niggas want to derail her event. Fuck you, James Prince. Fuck your punk-ass sons too, nigga. And your weird ass daughter that's abusing kids, nigga. Fuck James Prince family, nigga. Go help somebody, nigga. Go help somebody, nigga. Bitch ass, nigga. I hate you, niggas. Nigga, I hate you, niggas. I'm willing to die, kill, and go to jail. The only reason I ain't show up, nigga, is because Miss Pap called me. The police didn't say they didn't pro- they wasn't gonna protect me because I got some niggas that'll go against James Prince with me, nigga. Nigga, j- listen, James Prince runs Fifth Ward. He don't run Houston.
That bitch run Fifth Ward. He don't run Houston. He don't run Texas. He don't run Dallas. He don't run that bitch run Fifth Ward and that rap a lot label. That bitch don't run nothing else. And I tell that bitch to his face he don't run nothing, nigga. You got to pay somebody to do something, James. You got to pay somebody to do something, James. You ain't no nigga that's go do nothing, James. You ain't no nigga that'll take his shirt off, nigga. Nigga, please. Nigga, I, don't, I ain't scared of now one of you bitch ass nigga, homie. I think all you whole ass niggas sit down and pee when it come to a nigga like me and the police. This is what I want to tell you, Jane Prince. When I talked to the FBI yesterday, the FBI want to know why would Houston. Yeah, that sounds so crazy. I think it's when I talk to the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard a nigga say, I, yeah, yeah, I just, y'all just talk to the CIA. <laughs> like, like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I just talk to Secret Service. Like, I think I just talk to the FBI. Like, he got them on speed dial. Houston Police Department. The FBI is curious to know, Jane, why would the Houston Police Department give you a police report to an open murder investigation with people's names and statements on there? Who in the police department you got paying? Who you paying in HPD? Because everybody know you got the police on the payroll. The FBI just can't infiltrate the Houston Police Department to get them. Everybody know James Prince got the Houston Police Department on their payroll, nigga. That's why when Trey and Zero was being, when, when them niggas were jumping on Trey, that's why they did it in front of the Houston Police Department, and the Houston Police Department never stopped it. Y'all noticed that in that video, right? Why would the Houston Police Department give james prince and his son who was at a murder open murder investigation why would they give him the police report where they got witness addresses and witness statements and witness names who in the police department is that crooked where they in bed with rap a lot mob ties this is an open murder investigation the fbi want to get houston police department and rap a lot mob they trying to connect the dots with them too and you you can best believe there are people making phone calls right now today you can best believe there are people making phone calls. Right All right, uh, let me pause. Let me jump in here. Okay. All right. Clearly, uh, you know, Charleston wants to make it known. He's not showing up because he's scared. So, so, so he's not showing up because oh, he's you know Jay Prince got him shook. Don't want to come to Houston. He say he would have showed up, but he said that the event got canceled anyway. Or. The people running the event basically said, yo, Charleston, please don't come because we're trying to have this successful event, and the event is for kids. Um, unfortunately, if everything that Charleston's saying is right, I don't think him saying anything online will do anything about it. Because if a murder of a high-profile celebrity like Takeoff happened in Houston. And if we're believing you that Houston police are protecting or in bed with the prince or mob ties and that they're giving them preferential treatment, they're giving them information that's not privy to other people, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't think there's nothing that, that um, Charleston White could possibly do at that point. Um, do I believe all that happened? I don't know. I definitely believe it's a, it's a huge possibility that the, the police just said, yo, check this out, yo. Whatever venue y'all was about to do, um, unless y'all going to be paying for significant protection, or sometimes sometimes it, 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 they won't even just take the risk. They'll be like, yo, you beefing online. That happens all, that happened to 6 9 So that's the only pushback I would make. That happens 6 9 Yo. Sometimes the police will be like, yo, you're beefing online with so-and-so. You're trying to do a show and come to so-and-so town. We're going to tell the venue owner that if they have that event, their liquor license is going to be at risk or that it's going to be shut down or whatever the case is. Look how they do with Rolling Loud. You don't, you don't think the police basically tell Rolling Loud like, yo, these gang niggas, are beefing with these gang niggas and these niggas are into other issues and these people are prone to violence. If you put them on your show, we're not fucking with it. Rolling Loud depends on the police to, to, to do a lot of security. 
You know what Rolling Loud does every time? All right. Y'all say don't have these guys on. We're not going to have them on. So sometimes maybe it's not like some other stuff. Maybe it's just the police is really concerned about violence. <clears throat> I don't know. What do y'all think? Yeah, the police probably think they're like, why the fuck am I working hard for these, these niggas? So I said, I right, keep it 100. You think they was trying to get takeoff out of here? No. I don't think I don't think uh, Mob Tizer or the J Prince family was trying to kill Takeoff. Um, I do believe their influence is probably going to help with what I believe is going to be a non conviction of the shooter. I think Takeoff's death will be in vain. I don't think the <clears throat> the industry is going to move different. The biggest rapper in the world, Drake, fucks with Mob Ties, fucks with rap a lot. It's not going to change. Bunch of artists that have a lot of ties to the South, fuck with Mob Ties, fuck with Rap A Lot, fuck with J Prince, not gonna change. If you were expecting some type of retribution for takeoff, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think police are gonna convict this guy of murder. I think he's gonna get off with self defense. I don't think the people who. I don't think the Prince family wants this guy to be convicted of murder. Reason being, they did a whole interview saying the real guy to be blamed was the guy that's not even charged. So they're not even putting blame at the guy who's charged. So I don't think they want nothing to come out of this. I don't think nothing will come out of this. The guy's already free. He's going to stay low. I'm pretty sure somebody's giving him money under the table that he don't got to work or stress himself out. And I think this is going to end up in a... um situation where the dude doesn't get charged or it, it doesn't it doesn't go to jail it is what it is all right anyway let me um what else i feel like there's a few other things oh chat oh my god i gotta oh i gotta i gotta play this oh my god it's one of the reasons i even stream tonight Yo, chat, the uh, dam is breaking. The dam is breaking, and the women are realizing the errors of their ways. <laughs> 